In this video, I'm fractal burning wood to create an awesome looking project. I had this idea for a long time in my head. I wanted to make a coat hanger, but it couldn't just be a simple coat hanger. It had to be a showpiece, one that is in the entranceway for guests to hang their coats. Therefore something that is equally functional as it is beautiful. A couple of years ago, we experimented with fractal burning. Fractal burning is where you take the transformer of a microwave and you burn wood to create really nice looking lightning strike images. Sometimes they even look like a river system out of the air. The image is in the eye of the beholder and in its imagination, I suppose. There are a ton of videos out there on how to create the fractal burning machine, so I don't want to go into details on that since I am not an electrician. I am playing with high voltage electricity, so it's super dangerous. I saw some people using handles and holding the rod with the electrical burning ends in their hands. I don't like that, and that is also the reason why I screwed in a couple of screws and connect the clamps that way instead of holding onto it while it has electricity going through it. So if you want to try this, do your homework and be safe. The liquid I use to make the connection is just water and baking soda, which is a conductor letting the positive and negative poles connect. With that, you can also kind of steer the electricity where you want it to go. It will normally take the shortest route where the current can pass the fastest. So make the areas wet where you want the electricity to go and leave the rest dry. If you want to see more and bigger projects in the future, go like and subscribe my page. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks. As you can see, after burning it, the whole wood is quite messy. So after burning the wood, I clean it with a wire brush. I then sand back all the marks from the burning and the leftovers from the watermarks and fill the burnt areas with clear epoxy resin. This was really a satisfying part. The burn marks jump at you once you sand all the discolored areas, but once you put the epoxy on it, it looks beautiful. I then cut an angle at the top and the bottom, which will be important as you will see later. Almost every project has one step where you say, if I mess this up, the project is ruined. And cutting this board into pieces was that step. If I had one bad cut, the fractal burn wouldn't line up and it wouldn't work like I wanted to. That being said, you can be sure that I was really careful cutting these strips. I want to create the coat hanger where every second piece can fold out when in use and fold back in when not. This all needs to be attached to a backboard which I made out of dark wood to further let the fractal burnt piece pop.
Now each cut piece gets a hole where a stainless rod gets pushed through and every second piece gets screwed to the backboard after sanding and varnishing the whole thing. The whole piece will get connected to the wall with two screws through the backboard that are hidden behind two of the folding pieces. And there is a washer in between each piece in order to let them move more easily. Now you might say this will break easily since the grain direction is going horizontal. But since I want to make this in a continuous piece, I didn't have a choice and the fractal burns usually follow grain direction. Now that being said, I did take wood that was really hard and that doesn't break easily. And I made the pieces about 7 centimeters wide. Plus this isn't a hanger where you have 3 heavy winter coats on one hook. It's a practical showpiece that's not made to be abused, so it should be fine. But you tell me. Do you think these will hold over time? 